I see ya. What's up, Monday Geeks? Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. So in today's video, we are going to talk about ticket symbol SKLZ Skills. So this is our a publicly traded company that does eSports, and this is the first of its kind to actually be trading publicly. So we're going to cover that today's video and see if this is a, a buy or a hold. The company just recently went through a merger, so they started trading publicly, and so that's why I wanted to cover it and see if there's opportunities there for me and you to jump in or maybe just wait for this hype to calm down before we can actually get in so before we get started guys if you're new to the channel we talk about how to earn money how to save money how to invest and build wealth so if that's something that interests you go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content so again like i said guys skills is an uh, e-sport platform where people can go out there and play tons of games and you know have developers developing different games that you can actually uh, put on this platform so i mean it, the company has been doing great and again if you look at the games that they have very simple games not complicated games just something that can entertain people keep them busy and obviously you know once you glue to your phone your eyes on your phone that's what they like they want to see that because that's how they get advertising so they're talking about 30 million plus players um 20k plus game developers that's a lot of developers and you got about 3.5 million daily uh tournaments and then 60 million monthly prizes so those are some of the things that you see on their platform and they definitely give those out and so i think there's a tremendous amount of opportunity here uh people like is the games again some of these most of the games here are free but they have what they call in-app um, uh, you know sales where people actually sell stuff you can buy maybe extra power um, you know depending on what game you're playing so I did again people spend a lot more time on their phone than they do with other people these days you're sitting at the airport you're bored what do you want to play you take out your phone and maybe whip out a game that's so easy look at a game like Candy Crush that you know just became this ph a phenomenal game that people were just like playing it they have pool here so I mean they opportunities there are uh, tremendous so i personally think that this game has this uh um stock has tremendous amount of opportunity so again we're talking they have a lot of features that you know definitely gives them an upper hand so they, they, the fact that they organize all these tournaments to get people not just you playing but when you have that competitive spirit you start seeing more and more people spending time on the game they have loyalty programs where you spend more time they, they give you maybe some points and then they have ratings where they do their players rating and matching they do payments i mean it, they have con they, you know, content discovery so they i mean name it social media support everything they have it so i think again to me this is a, a company that has a huge amount of upside so if you look at the way things are, are moving to the so gaming has eclipsed movies music and books just think about it so if you see here movies are 43 billion dollars music is 57 billion dollars books are 123 billion dollars and then gaming 149 billion dollars and then mobile is right sitting right now at 68 billion think about it so mobile right now is beating books and and movies which is i mean unbelievable so television is still out there but mobile is coming because every single person this day has a mobile phone so that is something that you want to be aware of so again i think that this company has a huge upside uh, but uh, what I want you to do is just kind of pause a little bit and wait for this hype after a merger like this before you can actually jump in again more uh, on their demographics. So if you look at the income here, you look at gender, you look at age, everybody is playing this game. It's not just select group of people look at the age the age group but we see that majority of their their players are people in f between 46 and 55 you would probably think that oh no this is mainly for for kids oh no but look at if you see the age group here 23 percent uh, 46 to 55 23 percent 36 to 45 that is massive that is the excellent demographic way most people like to spend money if you look at the different genders that are playing the game it's almost balanced 43 uh, percent male and and 
53%, 57% female. So definitely a great balance there. So if you look at, again, your business model here, this is something that it's really, really key. So uh, gamers know they win. So you look at here, look at their revenue. So out of the 120, uh, $1.20 that goes out, they make revenue of 16 cents. And we're talking millions and millions of people um, being involved in this game. So the business model is very straightforward. They don't really have to worry about developing the app. All they have to do is have this platform. So they have developers that are putting their apps out there and they, they're doing, they are doing the advertising and the developers are making money and they are making money in return as well. So I think again, to me, it's a solid business model. Mobile is the way to go. A lot of people are spending so much time on their apps these days. Again, look here, talking about 30,000 developers, game developers in 2009, and in, we're talking about in 2020, now there are 10 million game developers. That is unheard of. So the business is working. People are spending time on the phone and these guys are getting it. So you can pay to get on interrupted uh, you know, games or if you don't want to, you can actually get free games where you have interruptions, where they, give, they, they sell their ads. Obviously, they have to make money somehow. So I think that's a, a very good way of doing it. Most mobile phones, are, that's the way they, they do it. So my personal take here, this is a company that is just up and coming, in, in my opinion. As more and more people spend more time on their phone and ad revenue continue to grow, uh, you're going to see companies like this. And I like the business model in the sense that they're not just sitting there and trying to do everything themselves. They've created a platform and they have all these independent contractors aka developers are developing your game so it's a win-win you bring your game you don't have to worry about monetizing it you bring your game we have a platform where you can just monetize your game from day one we take our cut you get your cut and it's, it's a win-win for everybody so i i really like it but right now as of when we were doing this video this stock is currently trading at about 21 dollars and 30 cents but um again this is just a hype after a merger so you know how this usually goes after a merger like this going public this stock would definitely get this the spike and then pull back. So I'm gonna wait for that pull back somewhere around that $19 price point. That's what I'm gonna start looking at, picking up uh, some shares here. In the meantime, don't don't jump on this hype because again, this is overinflated because of the fact that the merger just went through. So a lot of people are trying to you know make some profit. But just if you can just slow down, wait for it. It's gonna come back to us and it will jump in and then pick it again. Like I said, I, when you see $19, you start to load up. Um, again, if it pulls down even more than that then definitely go go in but this stock you probably see somewhere between 50 and 60 bucks um, again if you see other gaming platforms that we've looked at here like roblox and unity those those are doing excellent they're talking about a hundred dollar per share for those companies so a, a smaller one like this again i'm thinking between 50 and, and 60 bucks that would be a good target for future uh investment but in the meantime wait for a pullback before you can jump in so that is my game plan here again this is this is an excellent company i think that they have demonstrated that they, they they're profitable revenue is excellent and growing so it's not stagnant it's still growing and, they, and i'm pretty sure they're going to start doing more and more competition getting more people involved and advertising even more and again like as more people spend time on the phone these games they like easy games that can keep them entertained um, interact with other people if you think about it with COVID right now what do people do you spend time on your phone if you're trapped in your apartment you can make friends online and play games like this which is I think it's a way to kind of get you get your mental state back in check as opposed to just being isolated or by yourself so let me know in the comment section um, are you buying skills or you're gonna wait again like for me my, my approach here is since I didn't pick up shares right from the get-go I'm gonna wait for a pullback again $19 price point that's what I'm gonna start buying because it's going to come back i'm not going to rush this one i'm going to wait until it comes back then i'm going to start loading up and then uh, we'll see what happens from there uh let me again let me know in the comment section if you're new to the channel we talk about how to earn money how to save money how to invest and build wealth so if that's something that interests you go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content also if you're looking to get started with investing guys we boys doing a promotion right now where if you sign up and deposit a hundred dollars you get four free stocks just for doing that again links in the description below and as always guys always do your homework make sure that you're not a greedy savage and stay motivated